Spider-Man No Way Home introduced the MCU to some of the most prominent multiversal figures from neighboring Marvel timelines, with Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield both reprising their roles as Spider-Man alongside their own roster of previously established villains. While we got to see the return of Willem Dafoe, Alfred Molina, and Jamie Foxx, one fascinating villain from neither the Raimi nor the Webb films made a brief cameo in the film. We are, of course, talking about Tom Hardy's Venom from the Sony universe of Spider-Man characters. Though he didn't play a largely integral role in the events of No Way Home, it seems he will have an impact on the future of Tom Holland's adventures as Spider-Man, and this piece of the Venom symbiote that he left behind. In the post credit scene, we learn that a sample of the symbiote stayed behind into the mainline MCU, and will most likely bond with someone in the MCU in the very near future. But who is the symbiote most likely to bond with? Which previously established characters are most likely to come into contact with the symbiote, and which fan favorites from the comics might be introduced into the MCU as a host in the coming years? Well, stick with us, watchers of the Marvel Multiverse, as we delve into the most likely candidates to host the Venom symbiote in Spider-Man 4 or elsewhere in the MCU, including characters we already know from the MCU, as well as one prominent comic individual who has not yet made his debut in any cinematic universe today. Date. The first candidate that we'll be covering is Matt Gargan, who was introduced all the way back in Spider-Man Homecoming, played by Michael Mando while the character is most regularly associated with the character of Scorpion, and Mando's prominent neck tattoo seems to hint at the character taking on the moniker at some point, he also has a notable symbiote host in the comic books. In the original source material, Matt Gargan spent a considerable amount of time as the mainline iteration of Venom, and seeing as the MCU would be directly competing with Sony by introducing a parallel iteration of Eddie Brock, it may inspire them to introduce a new Venom symbiote into the MCU. This would allow for a fresh take on the character that doesn't conflict with Sony's vision and would also allow for the characters to evolve into the Scorpion after receiving a taste of villainy in the near future. In the comics, he debuted as the Scorpion before evolving into Venom for a period of time, but it's theoretically possible that in the MCU, his journey might take place in reverse, with the symbiote giving him the taste of power that inspires him to evolve into his own villain after the symbiote is in some way lost, thus bringing the full vision of the Scorpion to life in the Marvel Cinematic cinematic universe. Given that he still has a vendetta against Spider-Man for the events of Homecoming, seeing him become corrupted by the symbiote and use it on his revenge quest could be fascinating. The second candidate is Flash Thompson, who also did a stint as the symbiotic hero known as Agent Venom, but took a more heroic approach to using the symbiote's power that Eddie Brock or Matt Gargan did. Seeing as the character of Venom has been revitalized in recent years both on screen and in the comics as an anti-hero of sorts, seeing the MCU follow this trend and introduce a more sympathetic Venom into the MCU could create a compelling character out of someone who has already been introduced, however we find this to be unlikely. As it's important to note that Tony Rave Laurie's MCU iteration of the character of Flash Thompson does not seem like much of a physical fighter or particularly threatening as a physical combatant. But given his love and admiration of Spider-Man, he may become inspired to emulate his hero and do good with his newfound abilities. Flash Thompson is one of Spider-Man's biggest fans, both in the comics as well as in the MCU, and he admires the wall crawler for helping the average bystander and doing good for the community at large. If he comes across the power to do the same in the near future, perhaps he may set to become his own iteration of Agent Venom. However, again, we find this to be unlikely. Next, perhaps the most obvious candidate is Peter Parker himself, as the iconic black-suited Spider-Man has not been seen on screen since the events of Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3. Though the storyline has already been used by Raimi and Sony, the MCU hosts a much different arena for the storytelling to transpire. Tobey Maguire's iteration of the character was confined to a universe wherein very few super beings were ever present, and he was the only hero until the eventual redemption of Harry Osborn as the new goblin. The MCU, however, is home to dozens of super beings that could come into conflict with an iteration of Peter Parker who has become corrupted by the symbiote, and this could host vastly different stories and allow new adventures to take place that separate themselves from the Raimi era. It's also theoretically possible that other spider characters are set to be introduced in the coming years. Years, now that Peter Parker is being tasked with completely rebuilding his social circle and supporting cast of characters around him. While a new iteration of Eddie Brock might theoretically be introduced into the MCU, it's unlikely that Marvel Studios would opt to directly compete with the iteration showcased by Sony and played by Tom Hardy. 
as this would be grounds for a direct comparison between the two versions, with one likely overshadowing the other. However, we think we may have determined who may actually be the next host. One of the most underutilized and unknown hosts for the Venom symbiote goes by the name of Lee Price. While Price is a relatively unknown character, it seems that the grounds might be set for his arrival in the coming years in the MCU. As a decorated army ranger, Price returned from development and joined the criminal underworld, ultimately using the symbiote to attempt to usurp control of rival criminal empires. It was his call to grow into a sole kingpin of crime within New York City, and with the recent resurgence of Wilson Fisk, it's possible that this corner of the MCU you might be explored in much more depth in the coming future. Spider-Man and Daredevil are both street-level heroes who have teamed up several times, including against Kingpin. If Fisk is fighting to regain control of his empire after the blip, as has been hinted at by the comments from the actor after Hawkeye, then it stands to reason that he would need a competitor to stand against him. If this competitor turns out to be Price, then a storyline could theoretically develop where Price and Fisk draw the city into their own war, warranting the intervention of Spider-Man and Daredevil in order to stop the calamity. This would give fans their much-awaited Spider-Man and Daredevil team up while organically weaving in reasons for both characters to hold a compelling stake in the fight and results thereof. Seeing as the symbiote is now in the MCU and Price is a notable host with ample comic material to draw from, it seems as if the pieces are in place to adapt Price as the next iteration of either Venom or his own symbiotic villain. But anyway my friends, what do you think of these options? Who do you think is going to be the next host of the MCU's Venom symbiote? And who would you like to see utilize the symbiote at some point down the line? As always my friends, hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team, and I hope you have a great day.